Tour de France starts tomorrow. Stage one, very unorthodox. So I want to go through it. What is going to happen? So it's in the Basque Country, obviously. It's pretty hilly, but not mountainous. Um, and I would say the kind of key part is obviously like the beginning will be really hard to get into the break because I think some people think the break might go. Um, and also it's the first stage of the tour. So everyone's a lot of people want to be in the break. Um, maybe this climate will go. I don't know if that's hard enough. I reckon it will go somewhere in the valley. And then if not, definitely on this climb here or that climb, because it will just be like so hard. And the GC teams might be like, boys, we've had enough. Um, but the thing to kind of realize is like, will there be GC action tomorrow? Um, now there's a couple of things I want to talk about. It's kind of just like the run into the finish, obviously 3.8k, 5%. Okay. That's not very hard. 4.3 at seven. If it's ridden full, it could be hard. Otherwise not too difficult. And then this climb here looks easy, but actually it's quite difficult. And the final, final ramp is also quite steep as well. So we're going to go over to Wout Van Aert because he actually rode the last two climbs, I believe. So this is the climb here uh, that goes before 3.8k at 7%. Wow, did 21 kilometers an hour up it. So, you, I mean, in a race, they're going to be going like 23, 24. So you do get a good draft for sure. Um, I can't imagine any big names will be, get dropped. However, this might tire out some of the more punchy guys like Wout, like Vanderpol, like uh, Mai. Maybe Pidcock, not as much, but that's kind of people who will be tired out. This climb here is where he's got the comm. He rode it up 21.3 kilometers an hour up 9%. But as you can see, the first like half of it is like 6%. There's bits where they're going like 30, 47k an hour. So it's really like really more of a 1.1k a climb at 12%. I just don't know if anyone's going to invest. Like if you're Pogaccio, if you're Vingegaard, why? What's the point? Like, you know, it's such a long way to the finish in reality. Like um, it finishes at 173, the stage finishes at 183. There's 10 kilometers solo. So I think what will happen is that There'll be a selection for sure. There'll be like maybe four or five people left at the top. Um, probably like Pogaccia, Vingard, maybe Yates, uh, Jai Hindley, for example, someone like that. And then they'll all just kind of just look at each other and like people like Pelo Bilbao and others who are will get back either on the descent or just, you know, over the top of the climb. Um, uh, like this bit here again, if we, if we look at it, it doesn't look like it's going to be a mega technical descent if this is the same way that it follows. Like, it looks pretty not very quick either, like 2%, so easy to get back on if you're pedaling hard, which the front guys won't. And then I think it will probably be like a 10 or 15 GC guy bunch sprint, which like someone like Pelo Bilbao could win. It is uphill, um, or, you know, Poggy could win it as well, obviously a good sprinter. So I think it will be something like that. Um, I might be wrong. You might get like Vanderpol attacking on this climb. So really don't think it's that hard for him, to be honest. Um, and, and going solo, that, that also wouldn't surprise me. Um, but yeah, on a on a climb like that, uh, he, he could go well because it, it really isn't that that long. Like I know it looks long, but, you, you know, this this 7%, I know it's kind of steep here, but they get a massive rest. Um, his anaerobic tank will be well fueled up and to do like, what is it going to be? A four minute, maybe less, three and a half minute max effort, like, it's hard to really put a big gap into people there. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. I was going to do a video on the Giro Donna today as well, but unfortunately it's, it was cancelled. So that is kind of sad. Um, but yeah, hopefully you should have quite a lot of content for the tour coming up. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one.